Oh, hello. I'm Casey Ferris. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve here on the internet. Today is a very exciting day because Blackmagic Design just had a little press conference and they announced a bunch of really cool stuff, including Resolve 18, which we're going to be making some videos on soon. But one of the coolest things that I've seen in a long time when it comes to post-production is the Blackmagic Cloud. This lets you share a Resolve project pretty much anywhere you are in the world. Uh, whereas before this, you had to kind of set up a specific server and you had to know a bunch of technical stuff. This looks pretty easy. So easy, in fact, that I wanted to document us trying this out here at our little studio over at uh, Release the Hound Studios, okay? So um, I have my friend Sammy across the hall. Say hi, Sam. Hi. Hi, me. Okay. So, hi, YouTube. Uh, what? Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> So we are going to set up a project with Blackmagic Cloud and see if see if it works. I don't know. So in our project manager here, down in the lower left-hand corner, I'm gonna go to up here in Resolve 18, there are these three little buttons here. And at the top, we have the Cloud button, okay? And your databases are now called project libraries. So if you're familiar with databases from Resolve 17, it's the same thing, they're just called libraries now. And now we have a project here for the Blackmagic Cloud. And I've already signed up in all of that stuff. So what we're gonna do is make a new project. I'll make a new project and I'll call this test cloud project. I'll hit create and I'll drag some media into my media pool here, get stuff set up. There we go. And I don't know, I'll drag this to the timeline, drag some music in there. I'm gonna let Sam edit this because I don't want to. And we're gonna call that good for now. So I'm gonna save this. I'll just hit Control S. And I'm gonna open up our library here with this little I. And right now it's shared with just me, but I'm gonna go down to share and share it with Sam. Sam, what's yep. your email address? It's Sam at, you know what it is. Come on. <sighs> Share. Okay, so I'm sharing with Sam and he should be able to access that now. Oh, I have a mail. So we'll see if that works. I'm in Resolve. What? Okay, so Sam, in yeah. inside of Resolve under the project manager, Oh, this thing? There's three little buttons at the top, local network and cloud. Oh, I'm so confused. Are you on Resolve 18? <gasps> no. That's Why would I do that? That's pretty important. So I asked Sam earlier, I said, are you ready to shoot the video? And he said, yeah, I've got the cloud and everything. And I go, great. So what I assumed, <laughs> now this is my fault. This is my fault. Cause I assumed that what that meant was that he got Resolve 18 and he signed up for the cloud, okay? <laughs> which makes sense in retrospect. But what he actually meant was that he signed up for the cloud, did not get Resolve 18. So we're like, he's like, where is it? What do we do? Where is it? Like, well, it's gonna be a major problem. <laughs> <laughs> One hour later. So make sure that everybody has Resolve 18. Sam, you got Resolve 18? Yes. Perfect. I now have my glasses and Resolve 18. Good. So good. In the upper left-hand part of the uh, project manager, it yeah. should say local network and cloud. That's correct. So if you go over to cloud, what happens? It says log in. Okay, will you log in? <laughs> <laughs> this man. <laughs> okay, opening project library. I've logged in and there's a test cloud project. Baby! All Can right. I open it. Let's open that. Let's both open that. I'm opening it. And what do you see? I see a test project with a dude in a shop doing a Game Boy resto. Do you want to do a quick little like edit thing on those clips that are in there and move them around, chop okay. them a little bit? Okay. All do right. Do something little. Let's see All how right. it, let's see what happens here. Okay. Put that down there for funsies. We'll trim that. See what it Do does. That. I don't know. Put that up here. Put that over here. You got it changed a little bit? Oh, yeah. Okay. What happens when you save? Oh, okay. Saved. Probably should have researched this at all. <laughs> First. 
I think there's some sort of indicator that's supposed to come up. Yeah, like a little uh, yellow triangle or something. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Here we go. This is important. Single user project, multi user collaboration. Let's enable. Let's enable that bees in art. Let's see what it does. Open this timeline. Ooh, that's your timeline. <laughs> you got it? Yes. Yeah, okay. All right, make another change. Make another change. Okay. Uh, there. Will, will it not let you if I'm looking at it? I'm doing stuff. Do you have to save it? Oh, did that work? What'd you do? I moved some stuff around and then saved it. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, it uh, updated. Do I have to double click on it to update it? Okay, move move the top, the woman petting dog thing. Move that somewhere. That one. Okay. Okay. Boom. So Saving. Okay, you saved it. I'm doing nothing. I don't know if it just takes a second or if I have to, like, double click the timeline. I think I have to double click the timeline. So if I double click on it, it updates it. Wonder how that works. Okay, so hold on. So I'm gonna turn some of these like apricot flavor. Okay. And I'm gonna move stuff around. Uh huh. <clears throat> now double click on timeline one. Oh, wait, I have to save it. Now do it. Do I have to enable something? So I guess I'm not really sure how the updated stuff works. I'd probably help if I read anything about it, but we're just, we're <laughs> blindly trying this. So I'm seeing how, you know, we're doing this for a reason, right? We're seeing how intuitive this is, you know? Okay. So what if this is a perfect thing and I want to do some color grading to it, right? I'll do some color. I'll make the world's worst grade. So if you asked me to color grade this the worst, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay. I did the world's worst grade to it. Sweet. Does it show up? Uh. Okay. So we each restarted Resolve because it was acting kind of janky. And now we can at least chat with each other, which is pretty cool. So I can say, I hate you, Sam. And that works out. That's good. That's good. Okay. I'm going to adjust some part of the timeline here. And do you see any kind of indicator or anything? Yes. So up in the top right on my edit tab in the viewer, see, it says to... Okay. Yep. Click... And that updated. Awesome. Okay. Now you change something. Okay. Oh. Oh. I cannot. Oh, maybe it's locked because I'm messing with it. Oh. Okay, hold on. Let, let me go to the color page. Okay, now can you do it? No. But I can move stuff around and it'll say you need to update, right? Uh, it's what it did the first time. Okay, so I just moved stuff. Now I can update it. Thinking. Oh, and it quit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Come on, bring it on back. Okay, so I'm working with a, a different timeline. So that... Ah, it shows that you're in bin one. Okay. Hey, there we go. Now your thing is... Wow, that's interesting. Like, because that wasn't showing up for me. But now I can see I can update on the... It's like half the stuff wasn't working. <laughs> that's why it was confusing. So if I open the timeline, does that show that in it? Yes, it shows you're in the timeline. Mm -hmm. So then you're in control of that. And so now I can look at it and I can... Timeline one, copy. Okay, go to timeline one right now. I am in timeline one. Okay, move stuff around. Okay. Yeah, there's a refresh thing. And now it's refreshed. Okay, cool. 
So I can jump into the color page of that and then I'll like reset all of these. Which that's a little sluggish. So, okay. That just updated everything and it's a different color reset. Because before it was black, but there. Okay. Everything's back. So shot eight should update now. Boom. Oh, yeah. Got an update. On the edit page. That's really cool. Okay. So this is working. And it working. shows like what clip is updated or needs updating. Oh, and then you hit like refresh. Yeah. Cool. But I can't move anything. Yeah. Cause you're in edit. Oh, cause I mode. was the first one in it. Yeah. So it's like first come first serve. Okay. Okay. So let's, let's try this practically here. I'm going to make a new timeline. Ooh, I can't make a new timeline cause you're oh. in charge of that bin. Interesting. Okay. So I'm going to make a new bin. Can I make a new bin? No, <laughs> I can only do this bin. So yeah, it looks like you're going to have to. So um, does it say like who's in charge? Yeah, it says you're in charge of this bin. So am I in charge of the project because I like opened it first or because you I left? think it's because you're in the master bin. Go into bin one. Okay. You want me to go in the copy? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah. So that, that lets me mess with the master thing. So I'm going to say unlock this bin well now it still says you're you're in charge of it oh is it because you're in bin one? Ooh, maybe it's because it's master okay so make make a new bin lock bins refresh bins i can't make a new bin okay i can make a new bin for some reason <laughs> <laughs> who knows okay there we go okay so go into main and try and open that timeline and start messing with it okay i'm in main edit and I can mess with it. Okay. So if I go in, okay, you've messed with it. No, I can't edit it, but I can go into color. There we go. Now I have an update. There we go. And you can see the color, right? Yep. That's so cool. This has a amazing potential. I mean, I know that this workflow has been around for a long time. Um, so like, They've had a uh, collaboration, I think since like 14 or 15, um, but we've never been able to try it honestly, because we haven't, we haven't wanted to set up a big server and like get everything like working that way, you know? And so this is really cool that you're able to kind of do this on the cloud. It's still buggy. It's beta software. It makes total sense. But um, man, this uh, definitely seems like an amazing way to work. Um, once kind of some of the bugs get worked out and everything, um, really, really impressive, really exciting. What do you think, Sam? I think it's pretty cool. And I, I agree. I think, yeah, there's some tweaks and it's going to take a hot minute to figure out what's happening <laughs> <laughs> and how to interact with everything and everybody. But yeah, I mean, if you're working across state lines with somebody, yeah, it's like, Hey, I, I got an edit. Can you color this or whatever? Give feedback right there. That's awesome. Yeah, pretty cool. This is not with the free version, is it? Yeah, you can do it in the free version. You can do it in free version. Yep. Pretty crazy. That's awesome. Yeah. There is our uh, little little preview kind of uh, beta test of the... Our struggle bus. <laughs> our struggle bus of the Blackmagic Cloud. Hey, if you have any questions or what are your thoughts on this, how about you let us know down in the comments? And then we'll we'll look at other Resolve 18 stuff soon too. Okay, I hope that your clouds are updated. <laughs> Sam, you want to do an awkward ending with me? Okay. What do you want to do?